What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got ourselves our third badge. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Right here, look at that. Three badges in all, and it took us quite a few just to beat Whitney and all that stuff. Got a few Pokemon to evolve, that's pretty cool. And now it is time for us to go up north to Ecrotec City. Now, there is a little something blocking our way, and that happens to be that uh, pseudo Wudo. So now, after you defeat the gym leader right here in uh, Goldenrod City, you can go into the flower shop right here and ask, uh, well, you can, you know, show the badge to the lady, and she'll give you a spray can or some sort. So, let's see. Apparently, there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, that's the plain badge from the Goldenrod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well then, there's nothing to worry about, is there? Le uh, I'll let you use the squirt bottle for a while then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. Yes, we get ourselves a squirt bottle. Cool. Alrighty, so that's that. And now we have to go all the way back up there to, yeah, get ourselves a pseudo wudo. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. What is there? Oh yeah, you know what? While I'm at it, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Excuse me, kid. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's a reply once I wrote. I am stuck here and was wondering if you would deliver it. He's at Route 31. Can you help the guy out? Yes, I can. Wow, thanks. Draven received a Spiro with the mail. Okay, so... Yeah, he's at Route 31. Oh, yeah, there, there was a weird tree blocking the road. I wonder if it's cleared. Well, it's cleared. It has been cleared. So, uh, let's see. The We got ourselves a Spiro... A Kenya of some sort right here. Look at that. Level 20. And, well, it's Kenya. And it does have a male and all that stuff, too. And it does have some pretty good moves right there. So you can actually keep this Pokemon if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go straight to Sudowoodo because we need to get that guy first. And then we'll take care of everything else in between. So here we go. Going straight into this area. And, well... Here we are, back into the National Park. So how are you guys doing? Pretty good? Great? Awesome? Everything's safe out there? In uh, the real world, you know, where you know coronavirus is? Because the Pokemon world is safe right now. It really is. And I hope all you guys are, are being safe out there, and nothing has affected you guys. Okay, so here we are in round 36, and now all we need to do right here is go straight up to this girl right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to be saving up our game because, uh, yeah, there's only one pseudo Udo. You kind of need to uh, be careful with how you treat this Pokemon. So, come on, save game. Come on. Why are you being so slow? Ah, because you are slow. Okay. Now, the other thing, too, is... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, I could go with Fluff Bolt. Let's see. Oh. Screw it. Let's go with Fluff Bolt and uh, sacrifice it. Be a sacri uh, sacrificial lamb. No pun intended. Alright, let's see. On the flower shop, Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle water on the wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you, sp if you soaked it. Oh, that's the squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Alrighty bumping up and down and it's like there's an odd tree use the square bottle hell yes I will and look at that we use the square bottle and what happens what happens the odd tree doesn't like the square bottle the odd tree has attacked oh damn so there it is guys we're getting attacked again by a Pokemon and here we go with flip bolt level 20 pseudo wudo and what we're gonna do it, it is a rock type so we can't use thunder wave so we're going to try and get it to physically hurt us, and it does have rock throw, so that right there could prove to be a problem. And there's that low kick. Yes, paralysis. Okay, now we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. We don't need to be uh, attacked anymore, so let's see, let's see. Uh, let's go with Hercules. Hopefully it just doesn't make it faint or anything, because I would be pissed. And it's critical hit. Let's go... I uh, kind of want to use Aerial Ace. Here we go, on attack. Not so powerful, it is a rock type Pokemon. Aerial Ace. God dang, okay, so. Yeah, this isn't working out. I'm gonna be using multiple Pokemon right here. So let's go with Toxic Batman. Hopefully it can confuse it or something. 
There's a flail attack. Not so powerful. Let's go bite attack. Okay. And you are paralyzed, my friend, so let's go again. That way we don't we don't hurt this guy too bad. And look at this. Bite attack. Okay, so it is in perfect position. I bought myself three ultra balls just in case. Come on. Two, three. Yes! Throwing out that peace sign. <laughs> Sudowoodo is ours. There you are. Sudowoodo, the imitation Pokemon. It is a rock tap Pokemon. It is three foot eleven, eighty-three and eight pounds. I don't even know if I said that right. Although it always pretends to be a tree, its comp its composition appears more similar to a rock than a vegetarian ve vegetation. So you've got a veg uh, pseudo wudo. Would you like to nickname it? No. So that's that. And then she's like, "That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me." Get ourselves the berry pots, which will enable us to, I guess, uh, what was it? Berry pots. You can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. And look at that, we got ourselves some Oran berries. So now, we can actually get ourselves some berry berries. And then look at that, Petcha berries, Pekka berries, I don't even know how to say that. And, well, grow strong, I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading to Ecrotech? Then you should go north from here, I'll see you around. Okay, so, we will be going into Ecrotech City, but we gotta cover a few things first. Now, after you've gotten Pseudo Wudo, you can talk to this guy right here, and he's gonna be like, contains make him faint. It contains make him faint and rock smash. You could even use Super Smash Bros. Rock Bros. Okay, so, but be aware, hidden moves are hard to. Okay, so, this guy will give you the rock smash technique anyway, so I've taken care of that. Uh, let's see, a few things that we need to cover. Uh, tree's gone, walked away. What? It was a Pokemon? Well, finally, I, go, I can go to uh, Ecrotech to, to do some shopping. If you follow the path from here where the archery was, you'll reach Ecrotech City. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our bike and cover these uh, these specific things that we need to cover. You know, the uh, specific things. So here we are back in Violet City for the first time in quite some, uh, some time right here. And now, we can actually go to the friend that this guy was talking about. And, well... We just gotta find him. He's gonna be sleeping right here. Look at that. And look at that. We found ourselves an apricorn. So let's go ahead and pop that out. Yes, sir, Bum. Look at that black apricorn. Okay, alrighty. So that's taken care of. Now, if you talk to this guy, eh, right here. Hmm, huh. I feel like reading some words on a piece of paper or something. This is, hmm? Okay, let's go ahead and give that Kenya right here. Driven handed the Pokemon holding the mail? Yes, sir. Let's see. Thank you for your mail. It was such an exciting adventure. I do not like Zubat, though. That's what it says. I went to the dark cave the other day with a friend. That cave leads to another route, by the way. I must thank you for your being so kind. I'd like to give you something uh, good in return. And we get ourselves the TM44, which is, I uh, do not know. Let's see. Oh, sleep talk. Oh, it's rest! The phrase, recover fast, became shortened to rest. You see, this is the move to, to sleep and recover HP. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so the next thing we have to cover here is... Okay, can't do that. I don't even think... Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the grass right here. So, the next thing we have to cover... God dang it! The next thing we're gonna have to cover is going to Professor Elm's office because we have to actually show him the Togepi that hatched from the egg a while back. So let's go ahead and use a repel. That way no Pokemon can, can bother us and all that stuff. Okay, so we feel liberated. We feel awesome. We feel great that we actually got to, uh, you know, get that Sudowoodo out of the way. And oh, look at that, an apricorn tree. Let's go and grab that apricorn. Remember guys, the more apricorns you get, the more Pokeballs you can actually make. Day per day, or something like that. I don't even know. And, well, let's see. I'm gonna go right here. And the bike shop is calling. Oh, crud. Oh, hey, this is the bike shop. I've been selling a lot of bikes lately. Because of you riding around on the bike advertising for me, I was wondering how the I, I was wondering the, how the best to thank you, and I thought I'd just give you that bicycle you're riding around. It's yours. Thank you so much. Okay, so we did something great right there, like we always do. And uh, here we are in Cherry Grove Town or Cherry Grove City, I should say. 
And now we're gonna be grabbing that Togepi that, you know, we got from Professor Elm, or, you know, the hatch from the egg that we got from Professor Elm, Mr. Pokemon, that kind of stuff. Of course, we could probably use it on our team, but I kinda, yeah, it's not really a good Pokemon to actually have. I mean, in my opinion, I don't know. You guys are entitled to your opinion. If it is, then comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. So let's go ahead and use another repel right here. And let's make our way towards back home. Because Mama has been spending our money. No problem with that. It's just, uh, yeah, she's been spending a lot of our money. And here we go. Another apricorn. Bam. Popped out to green apricorn right there. Look at that. Now, while I'm playing this game, I'm actually looking at my Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough on my other computer. And, good God, it has been a long game. Believe it or not, guys, uh, while I'm making this, on the same day, I finally finished Pokemon Le uh, Liquid Crystal. So, if I get it out before this one, it has been a hell of an adventure. And I hope never to make that adventure ever again. It was twists, turns, everything in between. Yeah. All right, so here we are in New Bark Town, and here's the uh, lab. Let's go straight inside and see what the old uh, professor has for us right here. And he's like, Draven, I thought the Pokemon egg hatched. Where's that Pokemon? I'd love to take a look at the Pokemon that hatched from the egg, Draven. What the hell? Oh, my bad. Uh, there it is. Okay, so let's go put it in the front. There it is. What? That Pokemon? Hmm, as far as I know, there is not a Pokemon like this in Johto. Just like Mr. Pokemon was saying over there on the phone. The legendary Pokemon could it be? Oh, never mind. Anyways, I'm sure things will be happening around you, Draven. You're making me all excited. I'll give you a present for that. Please take it. And we get ourselves an Everstone, which will be useful for nothing. That's an Everstone. A Pokemon changes its shape as it evolves. But if it's holding the Everstone, you can prevent it from evolving. If you like the way a Pokemon is now, have it hold the Everstone. Draven, good luck with your, with your journey. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget about my research. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so that's taken care of. Now we can actually uh, go back to what we need to do, and that is uh, go to Ecrotech City. And I'm going to be putting Talks of Batman in the front because, of course... Uh, if it's in the front, happiness grows, and it will actually be able to evolve into Crobat a little bit faster. I think in Pokemon Crystal, if I'm not mistaken, I think I evolved Crobat a level after evolving it into Golbat, so I kind of want to repeat that right here, if I could. I, I don't know. Comment down below if you guys have recently watched my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, if I actually evolved my, my Golbat into Crobat one level after, you know. It's been a while, guys. It's been like two years, I think. Probably. I don't know. It has been two years. Good God. All right, so going to the Pokemon... Uh, oh, crud. I don't even have money. Okay. So, yeah. That's what happens when you spend all your money on stuff. And this is the guy that... Well, oh, look at that! He gave us a repel. Something that we wanted. And let's see. No further packages. Okay, so he kind of helped us out just a little bit right there. Alright, time to win some Pokemon battles because uh, we are broke. What happened to all that money that we uh, that we earned? I spent it all on chocolates. That's what I did, I spent it all on chocolates. Anywho guys, uh, let's see. I think I'm actually uploading this. Uh, you know what? This July 11th, okay? I'm gonna say this right now. July 11th will be my 30th birthday. Yes guys, we finally reached 30, 30 years here on this earth. And I started YouTube when I was 20, so that's 10 years right there, guys. Time has flown by, and I am, uh, wow. I am amazed. I am amazed that it has flown by that quickly. So, July, July 11th, the 30th birthday, I will be coming out with a, well, the first five episodes of my Pokemon X walkthrough. And that's just the first five episodes, just to get a head start of on that walkthrough right there. That way you guys can enjoy it. Uh, when the rest of the episodes will come out will be when I actually complete all of Pokemon Black. If you guys haven't noticed, yes, I finally finished the first part of Pokemon Black. And yes, I will be coming back for uh, the, the after game. 
or the, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, main game, after game, I don't know, I mean, we're technically not the champions of Pokemon uh, Black or Unova, I've never actually won the Pokemon League there, and there's still quite a few things that, that we need to do. Uh, it's the same thing as always, guys. I will be doing the main things in the game. Any kind of stuff that, you know, involves after-game stuff, like codes or anything, that will be saved for... That will be saved for later on, because I... I want... I, you know, I kind of have no... I kind of don't have time for, like, you know, uh, like, code game or, you know, after-game stuff. So, if any of you guys are wondering, that's what's gonna happen. And here we are going against another Pokemon trainer right here. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary it is. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, brother, sister. It's brother, yes. So here he comes with a with a drowsy, and I got a move for you. U-turn. Super powerful. Believe it or not, bug type Pokemon <laughs> work. And that is that. Wow. Okay, alrighty. And of course, my mom has to call us. So let's go ahead and answer that call before she uh, whoops us. Hi Draven, how are you? Found a useful item, and yes, we're gonna have to go to the Pokemon for that stuff right there. So, let's go right ahead and uh, grab these apricorns. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Black apricorn. Now, every day you will be able to find some apricorns right here, so make sure to come by here every single day. Let's see. Uh, what else am I gonna do for my birthday? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know, guys. Uh, you know, 30 years. Pretty good stuff, and well, since there is a pandemic going on right now, I, I, there, there really isn't a lot of options out there. I'm just gonna make the most of it, you know, enjoy the day, have fun with the people that I love, you know, my niece, my family, I guess, you know, be at work. I usually go to football, but since my birthday lands on a Saturday, that's gonna have to wait a little bit. Jeez, uh, I don't even know. I really don't know, so comment down below, guys. Just, Tell me what you what you think I should do on my birthday. I don't know. So here we go, battle time right here. And let's battle. All right, I'm bringing out the Pokemon. So here we are, finally getting a taste of double battles. Originally, you don't battle these girls in, like two at a time, or not right now. And crud baskets. Togepi is going to be battling crud. Okay, so let's go with a mud bomb to you, and let's switch you out for. Fluffbolt. Alrighty, Fluffbolt. Let's do that Mud Bomb. And Mud Bomb succeeds. Look at that. Togepi's growing levels. Congratulations. Look at that. And here comes that rollout. So let's go right ahead and use a headbutt to this guy. And. Eh, oh, wait. You know, Electric Dive Pokemon. I completely forgot. There we go. Thundershock for the win. And look at that, healing itself with the shell bell. And Togepi keeps on growing levels, and there we go. Victory. Alrighty, so let's see. Uh, okay, we gotta go back to Toxic Batman. Again, I really want to evolve into Crobat right away, but we will see. We shall see. Uh, okay, the Propel has worn off, and we're gonna be. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Hercules right here. And let's take care of this. She looked at us, and. Uh, Oh god, oh god, she's looking at us. Oh, you're, you're a cute little trainer, why don't you battle me? Oh, ladies, there's enough for me to go around right here, what the hell? Hey, hey there, you, hey there, you, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? Yes, I'll battle with both of you. Alrighty, so here we go, double battle between two beauties, Cassandra and Kelly, and uh, look at that, they come out with both Fable and Wigglytuff, so they decided to evolve their Pokemon quickly there. Okay, so let's go U-turn you, and let's go with uh, that to that, okay, U-turn, does it thing, and let's go with Cinder. Alrighty, and here we go, Brick Break, for the win, takes care of that. And look at that. Cinder grows level 25 without doing anything. And there's that pound attack. And they got another Pokemon coming out. Okay. Duke attack. And Brick Break to the Wigglytuff. Look at that. We're going quickly. Brick Break. Finish you. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Oh, wow. Pound attack. Alright. Focus Blast. 
gonna be that guy. Oh crud, oh crud. And look at that, Hercules finally reaches level 20, and wow, I wasted a Focus Blast on, on this guy, so let's go Focus Blast again. And here we go, Focus Blast for the win! Oh wow, it wasn't even the win, and the Flare Blitz misses, so there we go, Dig Attack does its thing, and uh, there we go. No more. Fuck yeah. Okay, so that's that. And, well, we're gonna be attacked by a Pokemon. We ran out of uh, repels. Barely earning money. We need an amulet coin. We really do. Okay, so here we are, guys. Ecrotech City in all its glory. Now let's go into the Pokemon Center before we finish this whole thing off. And look at that. Could that be? Hmm. Oh, it is! Hi, I'm Bill, and you are? Hmm, Draven, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed uh, the system to transfer Pokemon. But it couldn't have been done by my by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? The girl Lynette from Hoenn made the Pokemon storage system. Easier to use, I should say. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage system. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye bye Okay, alrighty. Okay, so that's that right there, guys, and, uh, well, let's see. We got a few things to, to cover in the next episode. Uh, first, we're probably going to be going to the Burnt Tower. And then after that, we're going to be going to the Kimono Girls. And then after that, we're going to be battling some gym leaders right here. So, yeah, we got a lot to cover, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, it's going to be pretty fun. See you guys.